scrappy people it's Tracy Reed here today coming at you with a uh, layout in my uh, life crafted album that was the word I was looking for I was to kind of say traveler's notebook which it is but it's a life crafted album and today I'm using my rooted collection from earlier this year and scrapping my very fussy very annoying monstera okay well let's just say I messed up this poor Monstera and now I'm annoyed with it. I overwatered her once and now she's been torturing me ever since. So I am actually going to be using a bunch of clusters that I created in a DIY your scraps video. And that is why this video is so short because creating these uh, clusters made this layout so easy to put together and it looks like I put so much work into it. Look at all this layering. Um, but really the layout came together super fast thanks to these clusters. So I have a bunch of these clusters made from my sticker sheet for the rooted collection combined with some of the patterned cards that I've cut down into obviously into banners. Plus there is a little bit of um, torn book paper in that one down there in the corner and I'm going to add in some more torn paper up here in the top left corner to um, match it. Then you can see that cute toothpick flag that I'm going to use as well. I'm going to use some of these patterned cards from the collection to back some of these photos. So I'm going to put this bright beautiful coral behind this one. I felt like there needed to be a few pops of color, so I'm going to add in this coral. I think I'm going to go right off the page here, and I'm going to make the cluster go, or the, you know, the photo cluster go straight across the page and span that gap. I like that effect for some collages in this page. I don't always love cutting my photos, I mean not in half, but you know cutting down the middle of my photos, but sometimes it really works and I did it in my Miami album a few videos ago and I really loved it. So I'm going to repeat it in this video. So the photo on the left is my like before for my Monstera before I overwatered her and then I spent basically all of July bringing her in and out of the house trying to see if she would recover better in the summer heat. She is a tropical plant, so I thought maybe the summer heat would help, but you can see I repotted her and that pot that I repotted her in did not drain as well as it was supposed to, so it was actually hurting her again. So then this third pot in this last photo um, is what it is in now and she seems to be doing better. So this cluster says survival of the fittest, which is one of the word arts out of the sticker sheet. And then the word strip says current status, trying not to smother it with my love. And um, I'm sorry, but that cluster is absolutely perfect for the saga of my poor Monstera. So I'm going to put this um, toothpick flag here and I'm going to staple it down so that it stays with my large stapler, not my tiny attacher. Let me pull this out, make sure that I don't staple that down. And then I end up, so I'm going to cut the collage down the middle so that um, it's two separate pages again. And then I'm going to add in my holes for my album. And when I do that, I end up cutting through, or no, punching through the journaling card. And so I just go with it. Initially, I was going to write a longer story on the journaling card and let it come in and out of the pocket but since it's like attached to the rings now I decided to just go with it and um, leave it attached so it's like a faux pocket and just use the very top of the journaling card to write my story like it would like a like a label would um, like it would be on a label Ooh. so I'm gonna add in this alphabet that I love with them. I think I've used this alphabet with this collection before. I think it matches so well. So I'm going to put UG on this label. <laughs> UG. I believe in you. I just thought it was so amusing and it just came together so quickly. Look at how great it looks. I really need to make more DIY your scraps clusters and I believe that there are 
lots of videos on my Instagram of me making these clusters. I think that's where I put the videos. It was like a series. I don't think they're on YouTube, but I don't know. You can check out my Instagram. It's at Tracy M. Reed. I do lots of stuff over here that never, or over there that never make it to YouTube. So, uh, you might want to follow me over there regardless. I really wanted to incorporate this plants make me happy. I thought that the pink looked good, but it didn't make me happy. So off it went. <laughs> um, instead, I'm going to add in some of the torn book paper that matches the torn paper on the bottom right hand corner up here in this corner. And that'll kind of frame the whole cluster and finish it off nicely. So this whole page took probably about 15 minutes, probably less because this video is only six minutes and 36 seconds long. But if you enjoyed it, I'd love it if you give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, go ahead and subscribe. I would love to have you. If you don't already, you can follow me over on Instagram. I'm at Tracy M. Reed. I'd love to see you over there as well. And the link to the Rooted collection is in the description box below if you wanna scrap your plants too. All right, thank you.